everyone, I just want to let you know that I'm on three hours of sleep right now, so this reactor is going to be a lot more quieter than usually than I usually am. I'm energetic right now because now I'm on coffee, but this reactor is going to be a little bit more quieter than usual. Anyways, let's just get into it. Yo, what's going on, guys? Friend, host of Crash, and today we are reacting to the final episode of Sonic X Shadow Generation Start Beginnings to the Arc. So, with that being said, no more talking. Let's just jump straight into the reaction. No more talking. Let's just get straight into it right now. Let's do this. All right, to the Arc, bro. Okay. By the way, I just woke up too, so I'm I'm kind of a little bit fatigued and tired right now. So I'm gonna try my best to react as much as I can. But like, all right, final episode, bro. Let's see what happens. So we're gonna see Time Eater. We're gonna see Doom. Bro, let's see what happens. I know we're going to be invading the gun base. Because that's what happened last time. To the arc. Alright. Oh, fade out too this time. Alright, here we go. Yep, the gun base. Yep, here we go. Gun funded the research that created you. And when they got you, they sealed you away for 50 years. <laughs> yep. My point is, don't get too caught up on any vendettas tonight. Gun is not my enemy tonight. Oh. Oh. Just okay. In my way. I called dibs. <laughs> I called dibs. Bro, what is up with him? Oh, the mini gun shot, the mini gun shot, the mini gun shot, the mini gun shot, the mini gun shot. Oh my gosh. One of my favorite shots in this whole animation. No. Oh, he's so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bro. That that's so fire. That shot's so fire, bro. Also, that's the um that's the boss from uh Sonic Adventure 2 or um I think it's from 05 or SA2. I can't remember which one it is. Bro! Wow! Chaos control. Yo, oh my gosh. They cooked. They were in the lab, bro. Oh my gosh. There you go. There you go, Shadow. There you go. Well, oh well. To Rouge. I'm in position. Oh, here we go. And initiating launch. Oh. Oh, all right, here we go. Lift off. Okay, here we go. Man, how much? Man, I, I want to see how much more we have left. I just want to keep watching, bro. Oh no. no uh oh. Oh, she's cooked. Oh, she's cooked. Oh no, he's good. Okay, I thought she was like she's about to get fired, but bro. Omega, hurry! You have to take out those guns. This is Commander Abraham Tower. Wait, what? Stand down. Commander the what? He actually let him go. Brought that intel you requested. And aided in the destruction of millions Time of gun assets. Sorry, but Shadow needed some help saving the world. If that's the case, despite all that's passed between us, he saved the world from Black Doom. He should have known I would have supported him if he asked. When has Shadow ever asked for permission? You could have talked him down, Rouge. <laughs> There's only one person. The sun slaps, by the way. True. And she was lost to us a long time ago. Sega is cooking right now. Life was 
taken from me long ago. I need to focus on the mission. Although I'm tearing up. A threat lurks aboard the Ark, and I must eliminate it. So I'm recording this post reaction right now. I'm, I'm recording this post video, but I had to make a comment on that because before when I reacted to this, I wasn't awake enough to like try and actually like make a full on comment about this. But I need, I had to say, I had to add this in. I'm sorry, but in every other footage, in all the other footage we have seen for Shadow Generations in the past, um, this year, er, all every other time I've said this is the direction that I've wanted Song Games, Song Team to take the games, and this episode. This this mini series is that perfect example of where I've been wanting the series to go, especially the ending to episode three. The example that I saw it in was when Shadow is rec reconciling with his past. That's what really hit it for me. That's what really got me to be like, yes, this is what I want. This is what I want from this series. This is literally where I want it to be. This is where I've been wanting to see for the series for so long, and I'm so so sorry that I was so tired for this one. I wasn't able to be my over excited self because I've been up late at night recently. But no, I cannot emphasize enough. This is what I want to see moving forward. This is it. This is, we, we've reached peak. We've reached peak. This is it. This is how can it get any better than this? How can it get any better than this? I'm just saying. All right, back to the video. Wow. Bro, bro, they had the end credits music and everything, dude. Bro, bro, that one almost got me. That one, okay. Bro, okay, I just gotta say right now, overall, this entire series has been so good. Sega, we need these to be longer in the future. Not only do we need these to be longer, but we, oh, with that, okay, so that's the music, okay. But no, uh, yeah, Sega, we need these to be longer. These need to be so much longer, man. Like, like we need, we, like, if this game becomes a huge success, you get like more money from it. We need, to, you need to get a bigger budget for these animations. I'm just saying, man. Like, but yeah. Before we get into the analysis, this this was a great series to watch. Um, like seriously, this is like probably the best animation that Son Sonic Team has done, and Sega has done in general for the Sonic series. And again, like this style is something that we need to see more of in the series. Regard, like, I mean, like. We've seen, like, you know, Sonic Prime, you know, Sonic Mania. This is an animation style that I want to return to the series um, in, like, full length. Not just in shorts. Like, this needs to be a full length thing from the series going forward. And I hope that we get to see more of this very soon um, in the future. So, y'all already know it. You know it. I'm going straight into analysis mode. Analyzing this, there's not really much to get into until like the end of it, until we see Commander Walters and we see the time meter. So not really much to get into um the first part, except for the um the boss right here. So this right here is the heavy dog. That's this that's the um boss from um Shadow Five that they brought back in this one, which is really cool. That they're bringing back more bosses from the Shadow Five game, and I love that. I love how they're taking more elements from that game. They're not afraid to go back to that game now. I love that. Like Sega, good on you, man. Take up with uh, going back to these old games that. You once discouraged yourself from mentioning, and now you're actually like you're being confident about your old games and bringing them back into back into your current games. I love this, bro. Love this. Love this. Love this. Love this. Love this. It's like Sonic Team's actually confident what they're making for once. <laughs> but yeah, all comments aside, this animation, this animation just looks so amazing, bro. Like honestly, I might have to watch whatever Studio Gigax puts out next that isn't Sonic, because literally this looks so great, bro. But I just want more Sonic animation to this style, dude. This looks too good to like not have any more of this style, bro. I wanted to destroy it. Oh my goodness, I can't, I, I, I can't with oh my goodness, bro. This is, it's like this, it's like the one all A student who went to, got to go out the, with lunch with her teacher for lunch in like elementary school, and the other student was like, but I wanted to go out with lunch with the teacher. <laughs> this is what Mega reminds me of. He let, decides to let Shadow go on because he knows he evaded for a reason and then the theme the vocal theme let's pause right here okay we gotta get into this we're gonna deep dive into this one this is probably the one frame that's gonna get the longest bit of analysis so if you recall in between song colors and song generations because i'm assuming when this takes place am i wrong I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts. As always, let me know your thoughts on this. I want a full conversation in the comments. Come on. Let's get going in there. But 
Um, I, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, this takes place in between colors and generations. That would mean that Eggman's already ran into the time meter at this point, I'm guessing. I'm, I'm assuming so at this point. I'm not 100% sure yet. So I'm guessing, it, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing if Eggman, um, sent that intel down to his headquarters some way, somehow. I mean, to be fair, he is straight in the middle of space somewhere right now. So I'm not sure how he was able to send that intel to his HQ. But he, they, they, he got the intel to his base somehow, and then Bruce got that intel from him. So, now even Gun knows about the Time Eater, which I don't know how that's going to play out in Shadow Generations specifically. I don't know how that's going to play out. But yeah, what would, what would Gun want to know about the Time Eater? That's what I'm so curious about. That's so, like, really what I'm curious about. It's like, what would they want to know about the Time Eater? I mean, maybe to use his capabilities for like their own benefit, of course, because, you know, that's how humanity is. But, um, I, I don't know, man. Ah, I, I, th I always like thinking too deep into these things. Well, for good reason, though, because you never know. That is definitely Roger, by the way, that is voicing Commander Towers right now. That is definitely him. But yeah, it's cool. I guess the Commander Wal Commander Towers is... I'm, I'm so tempted to say Commander Walters. Towers, Connor. Towers. I wonder if we're going to be seeing more Commander Towers um, in the game itself now. Um, I, should, I actually would love to see more Commander Towers in the actual game itself now. That would be awesome to see more of him. Bro, this vocal theme is so good, by the way, as well. The vocal theme is really, really good. We need more vocal themes like this. Stop that. And he, he, oh, dude, that hits so hard when he tries to stop, dude. The voice direction for Kirk is a lot better now than it ever used to be. Bro, they're actually cooking with the voice direction this time around, bro. Hands down. Like, this is like... This is this is where Kirk's voice peaks as Shadow the Hedgehog. Like, this is where it's at. This is where it's at, and I love where they're going with it. Like, he looks back on the trauma and everything, and he's like, No, like, seal it out. Block it out. You can't be thinking about, like... It hurts, man. It hurts. It really hurts, man, to see this. Ah, oh, dude. It actually almost got me teared. I'm not putting this up for the camera. It almost actually got me. Because, bro, because he, he's been trying to push, shove away his past for so long. And it's finally all coming back to him now. Because of Black Doom. Mainly because of Black Doom. Anyways, guys, I don't really have much else to say on this. I think that's all I got to say on this animation. I just want to say, to close up on this entire series. Wow. Just wow, wow, wow. Sega... You, Giga, you guys cooked you guys were in the lab bro actually like this was this i want more of this i want to see a lot more of these happen in the future and longer these need to be so much longer man like i'm talking like 10 minutes at, at tops 10 minutes tops at least because bro these aren't long enough man these just just a couple extra minutes of animation makes such a difference so, oh my gosh, bro. There's, there's just so much to chew on these. And um, in the amount that they do in the, this... I don't know how they get this much story in this short amount of time. I don't know how they do it. I really don't know how they do it. But, um, yeah, these, these were just such a joy to watch. I loved watching each and every one of these. Staying, also, that waiting party for the first one was so fun to do, by the way. So, I hope we could do, I hope we could do more of those streams in the future. But, like, man, this was this is a blast to watch. And I cannot wait for Sh Shadow Generations. And mark my words... Yes, I will try to do at least one or two, one, at least one more video before Shadow, like one more Shadow Generations video before the game comes out. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that with notifications. Um, but yeah, this was, this was so fire to watch. This is a blast to watch. And uh, I, I, I can't wait to see it, more animations they do for future Sonic releases. So anyways, guys, what are your guys' thoughts on the, on the Shadow Generations start beginnings? Do you guys think we need to see more of these? Do you guys think these need to be longer? Like I've mentioned the past few episodes. Um, and um, what are your overall thoughts? On this mini series overall, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, guys, thank you guys so so much for watching this video. We are nearing the 1K very very soon in the channel. So again, if you're new around here, I would greatly appreciate if you consider checking out some of my other content. If you guys happen to enjoy more of it, make sure you subscribe. Please make sure you subscribe if you guys want to see more content. It would mean the world to me. But yeah, I can't wait to see what Sonic Team takes us next. And honestly, I, I am all down for whatever we go we'll go next from here. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys so so much for watching this video. I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace out.